This week on This is Ruth Yole, a delicious apple cinnamon cake recipe, how to spice up your wardrobe on a budget, and how to have a positive mindset. Positive self-talk is very important. Tell yourself good things. You're beautiful, you're an amazing person, friend, you're an amazing sister, brother. Speak life because you hear yourself. You know, we can all tell you, oh, you're great and you're phenomenal, but unless you believe it and you speak to yourself, it won't make a difference. Welcome to my world. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of This is Ruth Yole, Karibu Nisana. If you're new to this channel, Karibu Sana, and make sure you subscribe and tap on the notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. So today we are baking, yay, I'm so excited, and we are making a very easy to make recipe. We are doing an apple cinnamon cake. So yummy, so tasty, so fresh, so let's get into it. You'll need one cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of cinnamon powder, half a cup of sugar, seven tablespoons of margarine, one egg, half a cup of milk, and one unpeeled apple grated. Grease the baking tin or soufflier with margarine, dust with flour. You can also use parchment paper. Add sugar and cinnamon to a bowl, add margarine, add the egg, Use a fork and beat till they combine. Add the baking powder to the flour. Add half of the flour to the cinnamon sugar mixture and half milk and beat to combine. Do this so that the mixture can mix evenly without lumps. Add the remaining half of the flour and milk. The batter will be of dropping consistency. Fold in the grated apple. Bake for 45 minutes to an hour until the skewer comes out clean. Decorate with desiccated coconut and cinnamon. Enjoy! Our apple cinnamon cake smells so good and tastes amazing. Comment down below and try the recipe. I'd love to know how it went. Also, you can send me photos and videos on Instagram at this is Ruth Yole. Next, how to spice up your wardrobe on a budget. Make sure you subscribe. So today we are going to be talking about spicing your wardrobe on a budget. So we're all about budget friendly here. And we're going to be, I'm going to be sharing some tips. So tip number one is you organize your wardrobe. It's crazy how when you do that, things change. I recently uh, reorganized my wardrobe and you know sometimes you think you don't have clothes or you you wear the same clothes over and over again and then you're like oh my goodness I have other clothes you get new ideas of combining different items together so also the best way to organize is either by style or by colors like you can use Roeg Beef you know the rainbow spectrum is it the rainbow colors so reds together shades of red kina pink orange yellow green blue uh, purple, it is see black, you see. So doing that, you actually see that you actually have clothes. And in case maybe you need to buy a few other pieces, you'll be able to know what exactly you need. Number two, give away clothes that do not fit, please. I know I have been very attached to clothes for a very long time, but I'm learning to let go of clothes, especially clothes that no longer fit. And Please, I have stopped lying to myself. Oh, you know, let me, I'll lose weight and, you know, fit into them again. I just let them go. I'm like, you know what? I'll get other clothes and it's okay. So give away clothes that don't fit. And also that creates room for you to get actually other clothes that do fit. And you can add pieces as you wish. And also you're blessing someone, you know, when you give, you, re, you know, it's, it's blessed to give. So and you are also creating space to get other clothes you know if you need them number three organize your accessories too it's very important to do this and accessories really add to your outfit so dusting them off seeing what accessories you need you know maybe 
how you'll pair a certain outfit with different accessories for a different look such so really it makes a whole difference and you realize oh you only need to buy a few accessories and you have many looks so pin pin outfits from pinterest using outfits you already have so for instance maybe you have this red top google it on pinterest and then look for different ways in which you can um style it and jeans most of these clothes you just need a little switching up you know maybe an ankara outfit and jeans probably you know just a bit of switching up you don't need to buy different clothes you just need to switch up your outfits kidogo pair this with this try a different color combination you can even try print on print maybe you have this very printed ankara outfit and maybe this a printed skirt try you know and google pinterest for ideas and you'll be amazed you know you can make so many looks with what you have so number five revive tired items for example i walk a lot so when i buy new shoes especially these trendy trendy shoes the sole sometimes wears off quickly because i walk a lot you know sourcing fabric blah 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 <clears throat> so i find myself replacing soles often so I don't need to buy new shoes especially if the the top is still intact it's just the sole that has worn off i do that so you can do that um get uh tips let's say for your heels uh when they wear off such things you know dust your shoes kidogo and um if they need a, a new coat of let's say dye you can take them to the people who make shoes and they can do that for you that saves you a lot of money and you get value for your shoes you wear them longer and you preserve them so those are my five tips are uh, how to spruce up your wardrobe spice up your wardrobe on a budget comment out below let me know what tips you are applying you know and also share some of your tips below finally how to have a positive mindset today i'm going to be talking about having a positive mindset and that is something that has really helped me um in my life you know generally in achieving my goals and just in being a, an overall happy person so today we are all about the mind your mind is such a powerful organ and it's very important to protect and just be cautious about what you're thinking because that in turn becomes actions and you get results and there's this very famous thing that says where the mind goes the man goes and also in the bible romans 12 2 says not be conformed to the standards of this world but be transformed by the renewal of your mind so your mind is very powerful so today is all about positivity having a positive mindset so how do you go about it one focus on the good things um we're not recovering from covid and some it, it may be very tempting to complain and you know and, and feel like oh you know why did this pandemic happen you know a lot happened but also i think one thing i've learned in life and even past covid and generally in life even before covid during tough times you know focusing on positive things has really helped me you know and counting your blessings really just looking at what is good even if it's something small and one thing i believe that even bad things have a purpose like in every cloud there is a silver lining so be intentional about focusing on positive things you know maybe it's a deal that never went the way you wanted look at it on, on the bright side it might have been a door that was closed and probably you know it wasn't the door that you would have you should have gone through and something good is coming you know out of it so focusing on the on positive things has made me happy generally as a person and just being the little little things of life you know i feel that it's more good than evil you know and that is really how i live and that's made me happier and more positive and more hopeful in life so number two is being grateful i am an advocate of gratitude i love being grateful and as i told you i has mentioned in other in previous videos one of my previous videos i try every morning before i wake up say just think through and big and tell god you know just 10 things I'm grateful for and before I sleep 10 things I'm grateful for. Gratitude for gratitude fosters resilience, self-esteem and also reduces stress. So it's very important to be grateful. Number 3, practice positive self-talk. We are mostly 
our own critics we criticize ourselves so harshly and that is something i've also learned i'm learning to be kind to myself let's say i mess up or i do something instead of being like oh you've messed up you know what kind of person am i i can't do things right you know to yourself okay fine i messed up but next time i'll do some it different you know and f just look for ways in on how i can improve on certain area of my life instead of putting myself down and talking negatively against my own self so positive self-talk is very important tell yourself good things you're beautiful you're an amazing person you're an amazing parent you're amazing an amazing uh friend you're an amazing sister brother it's very important to speak life because you hear yourself you know we can all tell you oh you're great and you're phenomenal but unless you believe it and you speak to yourself it won't make a difference so practice positive self-talk that has also changed my life phenomenally number four start every day on a positive note i nowadays when i wake up this is something i started a few months ago when i wake up before even i open my eyes i surrender my emotions my spirit my body and my soul to god because in the morning you're grumpy and most of the times or you've just woken up you know your body is still not i mean you've just come from sleeping and that helps me to just be positive and not easily angered you know just keeps me positive and also i don't allow the enemy to come and you know bring negative thoughts in the morning when i've had a restful night so that also prayer prayer does wonders for me in the morning listening to worship music in the morning israel hutton uh Eunice Njeri, you know just that just cheers me up and just brings life to me also looking at my vision boards i had mentioned about vision boards in my previous video if you haven't checked please check i'll link it up here below uh, up here so i love looking at my vision boards and just being grateful in advance and telling god thank you for this car thanks for this house blah 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 and also positive self-talk telling myself today is going to be a grand day abundance is my portion i'm blessed such positive words change my life number five identify areas of negativity so areas that you maybe have not healed from or maybe say you are too hard on yourself sometimes you don't easily forgive yourself for instance you know or um you're just an area of your life maybe that you need to work on and deal with those areas one at a time and ask god to help you i have found that god is always there to help us and even helps us point you know the holy spirit helps us also point points up to us like the areas that we may need to work on so do that and truly you'll see a huge huge difference so those are my five tips on having a positive mindset always remember that your mind is so powerful you can train your mind um you can change habits but it has to start from the mind and it's amazing i have seen how being positive and being intentional about being positive has changed my life and uh, habits can break you know even if like you've had them for a very long time or they can really break and you can live a very happy life so i'm testament to the fact that your mindset is very powerful and it's very important to have a positive mindset so comment down below let me know what you relate to what are some of your positive mindset tips you know what are you doing to have a positive mindset comment down below i'd like to know if you're new to this channel karibu sana make sure you subscribe and tap on the notification bell to get notified when i upload new videos